Hi, today I'm just back in the outdoor area with the pool and we can see that the water level in the pool is sitting up nicely which is great and this is kind of coming towards the end of summer and the great news is I haven't had to turn any taps on or off to keep this thing filled up and I've also even though I still have the mechanical water level device there I'm not having any hoses pop off or anything like that and that's in part because my electronic solution will only turn it on when the pool actually needs filling this is the sense uh, circuitry down here that we uh, talked about before. One improvement I've made is I've got these little rubber mats to cover up the cable so no one trips over it and, and these don't slip. Um, then we've got our sense wire running down uh, to the unit. We've got all of our solenoids and everything set up and they've just been turning on and off to fill the pool. It's great. And here we've got the, the guts of it. So this is the reticulation controller that I bought from the hardware store and it is doing the garden reticulation just fine and it's also giving the power to drive the pool fill uh, thing. It's set to run on channel 2 for 90 minutes. And then this is the hand-built box with all of the magic in it and it's been going great so if the uh, retic controller turns on the, the power for filling the pool and this senses that the pool doesn't need filling then it doesn't bother to fill it and when the pool gets to the right level it also switches off if it did have to run. Basically it's been running great and I'm really happy. Um, so I, I guess a couple of questions I thought I might answer today. One was like okay was this do-it-yourself option really worth it? What else is out there? Do a bit of comparison to that. And number two is like, well, how's this software working? And I've only got basic software originally built for testing, which is just handling the summer scenario of filling the pool, not telling me when it's over full. Um, so I thought I'd talk about that too. Okay, let's answer question one. Was it worth it? What else is out there? I did a bit of a quick search on Google and I found this one. It's a water level regulator and it costs 759 euros. I also had a bit of another search and I found an Australian one which was a little bit cheaper taking into account exchange rates and that's $807.52. I didn't spend anywhere near this kind of money. In fact, probably the most expensive thing I bought was the reticulation controller for about 150 bucks. And I needed that for the garden anyway. The next most expensive thing I think was the box for fitting it all in, all the parts. Um, obviously there's a cost of your time, but for me, this was something that was just enjoyable to do anyway. So in answer, totally worth it, totally worth it. Question two, how does the software work? Is it complicated? Would I be able to do it? This here is the software I'm running. As you can see, that's the entire extent of the code there. So it's not a lot, right? And the half of it too, we've got things like these uh, serial print debug statements in there. So it could actually be cut down even further. I define some pins for input and output, which are ESP32 pins on that uh, device we've been using. Um, and then I say that, hey, I've got to get the consistent same signal for 40 times in a row with a 100 millisecond delay. And the reason for that is that we have water going on here and water has waves and it can go up and down. So in order for me to truly know that, hey, we've reached the water level, I want it to, for a period of time, immerse the sensor. Um, otherwise, you can have your your solenoid valve turning on and off and on and off. So that's what this uh, uh, threshold here is here. And pretty much in the loop, all we're doing is we're reading from the various pins and the only one that's really mattering in our code is the, um, the medium pin. So we read the, the, the pin that happens to be sort of that the medium water level measuring sensor that I've got in the water and if we have 40 times where the water has reached that center and is above it the whole time, so um, we don't want to fill the pool anymore, then we send a signal to turn the relay off. And if the uh, water has been below that sensor for the whole time for 40 times in a row, then we turn the relay on, which will then drive the um, filling of the pool. And that's really it. 
So quite simple software. I'll include this in uh, a link in the description. If you're a bit more curious about how it all works, there's a whole playlist here on the Overengineered in Oz channel, Swimming Pool Water Level Automation, where I cover various bits of how this thing works. Thanks for watching.